hey what is up and welcome back everybody i am back here with some brand new content for you guys i know it's been a little while but i was in the midst of moving and getting the setup ready to make more videos now that i'm settled in i'll be able to uh stay on a more consistent schedule and bring more content to you guys more frequently and actually hold up to that promise considering the fact that now we're permanently moved in somewhere so i don't have to worry about anything or keep anything packed for more than a month so just so that way you guys know what's going on thank you guys so much for sticking around and maybe you know checking your phone to see if i actually dropped any new videos i do appreciate that with that being said i thought it'd be best to do kind of a roundup of all the theories plus all the confirmed news that we have for one of the most anticipated comic book movies of all time spider-man no way home i know you guys can't wait for this and i can't wait for this so let's just get right into this video but real quick just make sure to always smash that like button leave a comment on what you guys think about no way home what you guys are expecting to see um, anything like that and then as always if you're new to the channel and you just clicked on this video now consider subscribing it'll be right there on your right and then click that notification bell so that we guys get all the updates for the new videos that'll be coming out spider-man no way home is shaping up to be one of the most uh, ambitious comic book movies to ever hit the screen probably next to doctor strange multiverse of madness considering all the leaks and confirmations that we have for that film i'll make sure to do a separate video of that so that way you guys know what's going on with that but as far as no way home i think it trumps that um just because it's spider-man and we do know a few things for certain and we also have a lot of other things that have a lot of weight to kind of back up that there are in fact true so I think it's important to make a video so that way you guys know what is and what isn't actually going to possibly happen. Um, this is just going off of uh, really good leaks that we've found through Reddit and other sources such as 4chan and certain outlets such as Variety or The Hollywood Reporter. I mean, these are really good sources that you guys should consider looking into. Um, and it'll also kind of give you guys an idea of what could happen in this film, plus what could be happening with Doctor Strange and how it might fall into that movie as well all right so here's what we know we have a confirmed cast of course we have tom holland back as spider-man of course we have benedict cumberbatch coming in as dr strange john favreau as happy hogan of course jacob batalon as ned leeds uh marissa tomei as may parker we have also benedict wong coming in as wong as seen in the trailer and then we have confirmed alfred molina as otto octavius dr octopus such as we saw in the sneaker of the trailer and then we also have jamie fox confirmed as max dylan electro so this is the version from the amazing spider-man 2 with andrew garfield we also do know that the Green Goblin is making an appearance. We do have reason to believe that it's Willem Dafoe. I, I feel like it's almost 100% at this point. Uh, they've been He's been very cryptic in interviews about it. And I, there's a couple of leaks that I'll show later on in this video that pretty much show that he's in this movie. And just note that I was showing those screenshots of those articles that confirm Alfred Molina and also Jamie Foxx being in Spider-Man No Way Home. And those are from The Hollywood Reporter and Variety, respectively. We also do know, based on the trailer, that not only will Doc Ock and Electro come back, but we do see Green Goblin's bomb, Pumpkin Bomb to be exact. We also see Sandman's sand ability in action. We also see what I have reason to believe is Lizard. A lot of people speculate it's Venom. But I think that's a little too soon, even with anything that could possibly be happening with the Sony-verse merging in with the MCU-verse. So, you know, just so you guys know, I think it's pretty much Lizard at this point. And it's also worth remembering that this is part three of what Kevin Feige calls the multiverse saga, which is started with WandaVision with, and then went into Loki and now it's going into Spider-Man No Way Home and then that will lead into uh, Doctor Strange 2 Multiverse of Madness. And, you know, No Way Home really is a definitive film for Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I think it really is going to be the one to push the boundary. You know, we're already seeing it with these confirmations of Doc Ock from Sam Raimi Spider-Man, as well as Jamie Foxx Electro from the Amazing Spider-Man universe. Like, we're seeing it happening in front of us, and it's kind of interesting to see a lot of people say that this isn't something that's legit, and, you know, they're just playing with us, and that we're not going to see potentially the three spider-mans that exist and i just think that at this point it's marvel's game uh we already capped off with infinity war and endgame and 
they can only go up from here i don't think they could go backwards i know black widow was kind of a step back just because it felt like more of a filler film but shang chi has really proven that the phase four is here to stay uh i you know i have yet to see that film but i only hear so many great things about it so yeah Although I haven't seen it, I do know spoilers just for spoilers sake. That way I know what's going on within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So that way people know. There are some things that I'll sacrifice my knowledge of spoilers for. Even though sometimes I really don't want to. But I do it for you guys. So we know that Doctor Strange offers help to Peter. So that way he can get his identity wiped from the public's knowledge. We also see that they're at odds with each other at a certain point because of his mess up with the timeline and not only that he's carrying a specific item that i will talk about in a little bit uh it does have some leaks tied to it just so you guys know but we know that they're not going to be essentially teamed up the whole time and we do know that the tampering with this timeline is what allows for doc ock plus electro and sandman and the green goblin as well to merge over and with all the other events that are going on in the marvel universe it's all adding you know recipes to the pot basically so we are seeing the multiverse unfold we're seeing everything become you know disarrayed and it's only going to get more exciting from here now as far as confirm leaks well the big big thing it's probably the worst kept secret in hollywood is that andrew garfield plus toby mcguire are in the film that all three spider-men will appear in this film uh, there is no official confirmation though that's the thing there's not there's nothing from the trade reporters such as variety and, and hollywood reporter deadline anything like that there's also no real confirmation from any of the directors but it's something that they wouldn't really want to talk about because that's their cash grabber but like i said it's one of the worst known secrets in hollywood industry just because uh Tobin Wire has been seen on sets near where they're shooting, possibly for costume fittings. Uh, Andrew Garfield has been in the area that they're filming in Atlanta. Uh, a couple other, you know, odd ways to confirm that they're around, such as like a DoorDash delivery driver uh, taking a picture with Andrew Garfield in Atlanta, and he was nearby from a studio lot, which they were filming No Way Home. So, you know, there's such things as such like that. Plus, there's also actual photo evidence that I'll be showing uh, as I'm talking through this. And those are confirmed leaks from someone called uh, Spidey Fan Forever on Reddit. And he got a lot of what Trailer 1 showed us, right? He, pre he didn't really predict it. He noted everything that would happen in the trailer. And it came pretty much true, almost like you know, he's already known this information for a little bit and i'm sure there's a couple of people out there that actually do know these things and we'll be getting more and more leaks as we go along a lot of these photo leaks confirm the three main villains of spider-man no way home which would be green goblin doc ock and electro presumably and then we have sandman of course and lizard like i said that are confirmed uh, through you know trailer watching and other various youtubers that do have a really good following and track record for knowing such things so i think that's not really for dispute until sony either confirms or denies it but i mean probably with trailer 2 it'll confirm a lot of what everyone is already speculating oh and another thing is that we do know that matt murdoch daredevil from the netflix series will be coming back into the mcu with no way home and charlie cox will be reprising that role just because he was so well received and loved by the fans of the mcu and it's kind of a no-brainer to really start bringing the more beloved characters back even if they're not going to consider those shows canon even though they have seeds of canon in it so you know that's up for another dispute slash video but there are also other story details that I came across that do have a really good chance of being true, but I'm not going to talk about those in this video. Um, if you guys want me to, you guys can comment and ask me to do those, but I'm sure you can find it from other YouTubers that have come across such leaks as I have. But other than that, that's a lot of what we know and what we don't know. So it's a pretty even amount of both. We have a lot of confirmed information for this film um, and we also do have a lot of speculative things that we know about this film based on a concrete evidence that that help the authenticity of this information that we have you know leaked to us 
nonetheless though i'm really really amped for spider-man no way home it's definitely going to be an exciting time during christmas time because this comes out december 17th and after this the mcu is really going to blow open because you know we get doctor strange 2 multiverse of madness which this will lead into we also get a bunch more films after that every pretty much two to three months you know so it's going to be a wild time for anybody that's a real big fan of the marvel cinematic universe i'm very excited more so for phase four than i was for phase one through three uh so i can't wait that kind of wraps up uh, all the information that i have for you guys on this video and also wraps up the video itself uh, i hope you guys enjoyed my return back to youtube i'll go ahead and be doing a doctor strange 2 multiverse of madness what we know and what we don't know video i'll also be doing some other videos uh, coming down the next few days so just be on the lookout turn on that notification bell like i said earlier and if you're new to the channel and you guys stuck all the way through till what 11 minutes almost uh thank you guys so much and please hit that subscribe button later